Good morning, friends. We are going to practice labeling sentences and also looking at different types of sentences together on classroom practice number 27. So you might have already tried this on your own. I want you to check your work and make any corrections that you need. Um, if you haven't tried it yet, just go ahead and do it with me, okay? So first for exercise one, we're going to classify each sentence which just means to label the words. Number one, go quickly to the store for bread and milk. So we have to look for the prepositions first. So the first preposition is to. To what? Store, object of the preposition, OP. The article adjective. There is one more preposition, for, for what? Bread and milk. So the, we have compound object of the preposition, compound object of the preposition. So I put C-O-P above each word. The word and is a conjunction. So there's your three C's together, okay? Who or what goes quickly? You, this is you understood. Remember we put you in parentheses. It's, that's the subject is you, but it's not really there. Go is a verb. Go how? Quickly, adverb. This is a period, command, imperative sentence. The pattern is still subject, noun, verb, pattern one. The entire sentence comes after the verb, so the whole sentence is underlined twice as part of the predicate, okay? Commands are usually like that. Sentence number two says, he and his friends went to the cafeteria for lunch. Looking for prepositions, I see the word to. To what? Cafeteria, object of the preposition. The is an article adjective. For is a preposition. For lunch, object of the preposition. So who went to the cafeteria? He and friends. He is a subject pronoun. Friends is a subject noun. These are compound, we have two subjects. So I'll have CSP above he and CSN above friends. The word and is a conjunction, C. Whose friends? His possessive pronoun adjective, PPA. And what is being said about he and his friends? Went, verb, divide before the verb, or sorry, after, yeah, before the verb. This is a period statement declarative sentence. The subject is he and his friends. The predicate is went to the cafeteria for lunch. And we have subject, noun, verb, pattern one. Okay. Exercise number two, write the labels for the seven parts of speech you have studied so far. So we know nouns, SN. We know subject pronouns, SP. We know verbs, V. We know adverbs, ADV. We know adjectives, ADJ. We know prepositions, P, and we know conjunctions, C. 
These are our seven labels so far. Exercise number three, identify each type of sentence by writing the correct label in the blank. So your choices are S for simple sentence, SCS for simple compound subject, SCV for simple compound verb, and then CD is a compound sentence, which is when two clauses come together using a conjunction. So we'll talk about that here in just a moment. Sentence number one says, the soda fell off the table and spilled on the floor. What is the subject of the sentence? Soda. What did the soda do? fell and spilled. So there are compound verbs. So sentence number one is a simple sentence with compound verbs. S-C-V goes on the line. Number two, we ate eggs for breakfast, but we did not eat any pancakes. This is going to be a compound sentence because we have the word, but if we covered up everything after, it would still make a sentence. We ate eggs for breakfast. That makes a complete thought. Also, we could cover up everything before and it would still leave a sentence. We did not eat any pancakes. So these are two separate clauses that are coming together. So this is a compound sentence, which we label CD. Number three, you must listen to these directions or you might get lost. Again, this is gonna be a compound sentence because you might listen to these directions, can stand alone. You might get lost can stand alone. So this is a compound sentence, CD. Lily and Ben played the piano in the talent show. Do you see two subjects or two verbs? Yeah, we have Lily and Ben. So we have a simple sentence with compound subjects, S-C-S. -S. And number five, I left my backpack in dad's truck yesterday. Do we have two subjects or two verbs? No, and I don't see the word and, or, or but. So this is just a simple sentence, S. All right, for our final exercise, we are going to use a slash to separate each clause. And we're going to write compound sentences using the words or the symbols in the parentheses. So we're writing compound sentences, okay? My sister washed the car windows. My brother cleaned the tires. Where should that be separated? Between windows and my, because my sister washed the car windows can stand alone. My brother cleaned the tires can stand alone. So when we put this together, we are going to write, my sister washed the car windows. And then we're going to use what's in the parentheses. We're gonna put comma and my brother cleaned the tires. We made a compound sentence. My sister washed the car windows and my brother cleaned the tires. So let's try number two. You can pause the video if you need to. I tasted the soup, I did not like it. Where should we divide? Right, between soup and I. This time we're going to use a comma in the word but. I tasted the soup. I 
comma, but I did not like it. Make sure you put your period at the end. For the final compound sentence, it says, my clothes were muddy, grandma washed them. We're going to divide between muddy and grandma. This time we're not adding any new words. We're using what's called a semicolon, okay? My clothes were muddy. Just put that symbol, grandma washed them. And again, put a period at the end of your sentence. Next week, you are going to practice more with the types of sentences, and you're going to practice writing some new sentences too. Great job today.